Hey, welcome to Maddie Makes. I'm Crystal, and today we're spinning up some of that um, Jacob's lamb fleece that I carded up earlier. Um, check out the carding videos, or video. Um, it'll upload right before this one. Um, but it's the roving from it. Carded Jacob. This is from um, Pinball Wizard. Really cute little uh, double horned Jacob lamb. This is the first shearing. I blended out a good third of the fleece and ran it through, brushed out each lock to get out the veggie matter and then ran it through the drum carter like four times, mixing the bats each time. Um, and the bats are a good two ounces each. I made four of them. I am going to spin a three ply to eventually get a worsted weight or number four weight yarn. So let me drag you in. I already have this partially worked up so you can see the way the colors are blending. There it is, up close and personal. So, Sorry for the dim lighting. Lighting in this room isn't the greatest. This is what I've worked up so far. And it's working it up super fine. So if I put it on this guy, it's working up to like 26. Like 26 wraps. So three of those together should give me the 11 or worsted weight that I'm looking for. I love that I'm holding this and it's moving. So anywho, so I have the, this is my Kromsky Symphony. I have this on the small bobbin, the small setup here with the medium size whorl. You can almost see it, back it up a little bit more. On the smallest side of that, and the largest side of my bobbin. The um, bobbins on this have a small roll on one side and one a little bigger on the other side. So I'm working on the one that's a little bigger and the smaller of this. I spin in the S direction. At least two of these will be in the S direction. One will be in the Z direction and I'll ply in the Z direction. Break it down. Um, so the wheel is turning towards the right for two of them, left for two, left for one of them, and then ply it to the left. And this is just, I'm doing a backwards draft. Just a little bit at a time. Even though I brushed this out, there's still a little veggie matter that pops up. So I go slow to make sure I pull those pieces out and working really hard not to spin this too fine because this does want to spin up so fine. Being a lamb's fleece, um, it's fine in any way. So the finer side of a Jacob. It just spins up so beautifully. don't really count my treadles, but I do feel it. And then I check back every once in a while to make sure I'm not underspinning it. I have a habit of underspinning my singles versus overspinning. So I guess learn your habits and try to adjust accordingly. Spins up like butter. Oh my goodness. A little bit of veggie matter in there. I wish I could zoom this in a little bit more. I'm sure, there's a way to do it. Hey, welcome back to the spinning wheel. I got a little bit better view on this, so hopefully, you can see the tonals that are coming out in this beautiful Jacob's Lamb fleece. 
and actually see better on how I'm spinning it. And this lovely little barber pulling that's happening when the, the white fleece and the black fleece intertwist. Now, like I said, this is going to be a three ply worsted weight or a number four yarn. So it should have an overall distance read of a nice dark gray as pretty much as the bobbin looks when it's spinning. Now I sped this portion up just so you could see how I was spinning without all the time it takes to actually spin. Now I'm still using a modified like backwards draw and definitely taking time to check my gauge to make sure I am spinning it at the proper thickness and trying to hold that as constant as I can. And every once in a while I'll have to break it off and go over what I just did because the fleece does want to spin up so super fine. And still pick out those little bits that you don't want in your final product. Being a handmade yarn, you can really take the time to get it exactly how you want it. So I am going to take my time and enjoy this lovely spin. Like I said, it's going to be a three ply. So I have two more of these bobbins to fill and I'll check you back in the next video where I'll be doing some more spinning and some more applying. Happy spinning, happy knitting. See y'all later. Bye.